Hi, in this lecture we'll be discussing concussion and subluxation. Those of you who've come to this channel for the first time, do subscribe to it to receive continuous updates. So let's go ahead with our lecture. Both concussion and subluxation, they are minor injuries to the pulp and the periodontal fiber caused due to an acute impact. Now, this acute impact can be a blow, a fall, an accident, anything that is hard and it has hit against the tooth structure. In case of concussion, the impact can result in the hemorrhage and edema of the periodontal ligament fibers. These are the periodontal ligament fibers and this is the blood you can see. So, because of this, what happens is, when we percuss, the tooth shows tenderness on percussion. However, the periodontal ligament fibers, they are intact and because of that, there is no mobility in the tooth. The tooth is firm and if we take a radiograph, we do not see any abnormality and when we conduct the pulp test, the result is a positive response. In case the impact forces more, it results in subluxation. Now, in this case, you will observe that the periodontal ligament fibers, as shown here, more of them get ruptured and because of which more blood gets accumulated. Therefore, when we percuss this tooth, we will observe that it shows tenderness on percussion. Also, there is some bleeding from the gingival sulcus. Now, as the periodontal ligament fibers are ruptured, mobility in this tooth, it is present. However, the tooth is loose but not displaced and radiographically there is no abnormality seen. And when we conduct pulp test, we see a positive response because the neurovascular supply to the pulp is usually unaffected by trauma. The treatment of both the type of injuries is the same. The first step is to relieve occlusal interferences by selective grinding of the opposing teeth. You can see it here. This tooth the lower tooth is in contact with the upper one, which is the involved tooth. So we grind it and we relieve any pressure that might be exerted onto the involved tooth. The patient is advised to take soft diet for approximately two weeks. Now splinting of the involved teeth is not necessary, but it might be desired for the comfort of the patient. And in case we do splinting, then it should not be more than two weeks. Now what are the possible complications that can arise? The tooth can become symptomatic. That means the involved tooth shows symptoms of pain, tenderness or mobility. Sometimes the tooth does not become symptomatic. It is totally normal, but it shows negative response to pulp testing for say up to three months. Then in case of immature teeth, it is observed that the root development in these teeth has stopped. So now what do we do? Now the possible treatment for such teeth is endodontic therapy and we go in for root canal depending upon the stage of root development that is present. I hope you enjoyed your lecture. Do subscribe to this channel to receive continuous updates and share it with your friends. Also check out videos on trauma which have already been uploaded and the videos on dental caries as well as occlusion. Thank you.